Hello, my name is Nat Maven. This video, I'm gonna show you how to config over the top wireless for SDA. The objective is to config over the top wireless for SDA by using Cisco DNA Center. So first, we'll examine the poised fabric. I have a, fa a fabric border, two edges. I have two non-fabric AP connected to the edge one and edge two. Then I will configure the over the top SSID and I will onboard APs using infra VN. Uh, later, I will provide provision WIC and APs for over the top. SSID. So let's get started. I have also a controller, it's non fabric, it's directly connected to the fabric border. And I have a server farm to the from the fusion router to, uh, to the DNA server, ICE, and uh, DHCP server. I will onboard the non fabric AP in the infrastructure VM and then it will become part of fabric overlay. It because it's of infast VM, it will reside in the global routing table inside the fabric. My fabric, non-fabric 9800 WSC, it will be managed by the DNA center but it is not a part of a fabric domain. So let's first examine the uh, design config in the DNA center. On the global, I will have a wireless. I already configured OTT w, uh, WLAN SSID. Let's add it. I will show you what I can pick. The type is an enterprise SSID. And I keep everything at default. I also config AAA server. And I have a network profile associated with this as OTT SSID. And here I will create a VLAN group one for the wireless clients. The next, under my fabric site, I will configure an AP pool which is 10.0.3.0/24, and I configure DSCP and DNS servers with it. Let's take our cursor to the prov uh, provisional tab on the fabric side. I have onboard just my controller and the APs. Let's click the onboarding tab. I choose authentication template, I choose all closed authentication. This will force all ports to have 802.x authentication to the eyes. And under virtual networks, I have infrastructure VN. I'll add it AP infrastructure VN for the AP pools and my pool type will be AP. Click the port assignment. I will assign port 1024 on edge one as an AP port. Automatically, it will assign the VLAN VN name to 
uh, to the VLAN. Click update. And also for another AP, I have configured port likewise. So now let's examine what DNAC has configured for me. On the edge two, I will show run interface v, uh, G1044. It automatically creates the VLAN show run into VLAN 1022 as an anycast gateway. This interface with VLAN 1022 will be connecting to the AP. And also it shows my AP is onboarded to the infra VN. If I show access tunnel, summary, I won't see the AP is part of a fabric. And I, if I show IP root, the infra VN AP uh, subnet is resides uh, in the global routing table. So now let's go ahead and provision my controller and AP. Head over the provision on the infrastructure. I choose my controller and AP. Click action and the provision device. Now the controller has been configured uh, successfully. I will also remind you to create a, a VLAN according to your uh, infrastructure. So in my uh, environment, I have under my wireless, go back to OTT. In the same network profile C lab staff I have created um, VLAN the VLAN is I will just create V99 VLAN ID will be 99 since I already created I will able to create a VLAN group 1 So let's examine what DNAC has created for us in the controller. On the controller, DNAC has created an OTT profile double line for me. And it's automatically created a policy. The policy name OTT profile it is sending all the traffic to VLAN group one. It's VLAN group configured in the controller, so I had to VLAN. In this case, DNAC has created VLAN 99 for me and the VLAN group you might need to type in VLAN 99 to the VLAN group. I can add as many VLAN 
to the VLAN group. Now, at this time, just do not forget to create a policy authorization rule for the ADAR 2x authentication. And the policy default policy, I will go ahead as another user Cisco 123 and I will permit this authentication and authorization. If you want to know how the authentication work, go to authentication because the default policy I will have a dollar one X as a default authentication rule. But this time, I will create a separate uh, authorization rule on top of it. I will name it OTT. Wireless. Also for the condition, um, gonna use its wireless doll one X. In here, I will create to use wireless.1x and when I use the any user in ICE user group, also it will match the SSID OTT. Simply, I will just give it permit access. Click save. This time, let me double check if I have um, the user in the group. For ICE group, internal uh, group, I have Cisco123 as a username, also ICE user as a username. And now bring up my test PC and choose PAP for OTT SSID. Cisco one, two, three, Cisco one, two, three. Click OK. It successfully authenticated and authorized. It gets to IP address. That's now double checking the eyes. If there's any successful logging. I'm tracking the ice log. I have found a successful authentication has been passed.